how many of you have had a dream that felt so real and you woke up like actually living and that it really happened? Okay, so how many of you had, had a dream where you thought you were falling and you wake up all scared? <laughs> all right, well, same. Um, <clears throat> so a dream is a series of thoughts, images, and sensations that occur in a person's uh, mind during sleep. Um, so, and <clears throat> um, since it's happened to me before, I take interest in you know, learning why it was like happening to me and why I was like dreaming all these um, types of things. Um, so learning about the dreams and learning about the meanings about the dreams will help you better understand why you are um, having them. Um, so first I'll talk about like um, what a dream is and then I'll talk about the types of dreams and then I'll talk about the um, most common dreams and their meaning. So what is a dream? So a dream is a series of thoughts, images, and sensations that occur in a person's uh, mind during sleep. Um, so it's like when you're when you're dreaming, your your unconscious mind is asleep, and your unconscious mind um, wires up. So it's it's basically taking over your entire mind, and it's creating these illusions and all these things while you sleep. It's creating your own um, fantasy land. Um, so according to Joe Griffin, um, a research psycho um, psychologist with um, graduate and postgrad graduate degrees from the London um, School of Economics in 2007, um, he says that when people sleep, they go into a REM state, which is rapid eye movement. So there was two um, people that figured this out. It was a, um, Clay, Claytman and a Sarisky. Um, they figured out in 1953. They studied the way people slept, and they realized that their eyes would just con um, con continually move. So since they kept looking towards that more and more, and they figured out that when their eyes would move really fast, they were they were um, dreaming. Um, so now that I talked about a little bit of what dreamers, I'll talk about the um, common types. So according to Rebecca Turner, founder and editor of World of Lucid Dreams, there are five types of dreams. Daydreams, normal dreams, false awakenings, nightmares, and lucid dreaming. They, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen anybody just stuck, just staring at them, something and they don't move, and then they like snap out of it. They're daydreaming. A, a um, daydream is basically your mind just zones out and it's either replaying a certain situation that has happened or a situation that will um, that you might have wanted to be um, differently. A normal dream is just your regular day-to-day -day dreams. You might realize you weren't dreaming. You might just um, realize that it was a weird dream, that it was a sad dream. That's your a normal dream. False awakenings are dreams where you think you're awake, but you're actually still sleeping. So it's like you're dreaming that you're waking up, you're at school, you're in class, and then you wake up and you realize that was not me um, happening. Um, night nightmares usually happen in children. They usually dream that they're being chased, and that means that they fear being hunted. Um, so that's what nightmares is. And some nightmares feel really real um, mystic that some people wake up with pain in their arms or their legs, wherever. Um, they might have gotten stabbed in their um, nightmare, and they feel it when they um, wake up. And lucid dreams are dreams where you know that you're um, dreaming. You can most likely control these, these, these um, dreams. So have you guys seen the movie Insidious? All right, you know the little boy, um, Dalton? How he's a traveler, he's actually lucid on dream, um, dreaming. But his dreams are more, are more like nightmares. Um, but he's able to walk around and talk to the undead and see them, so that's a type of lucid dreams. Um, so now that I've talked about a dream and the types of lucid dreams, I'll talk about the most um, common dreams. Um, so according to um, Claire, he an editor for the um, for Mirror, the most five common dreams is being trapped in loss, um, paralysis, falling the the loss of teeth, and being chased. 
So when you feel trapped or lost, it means that you're avoiding a conflict that's going on with you in your own life. It might be with a family member, it might be with some friends, but you're avoiding the entire situation. So when you dream about this, you feel you're just, you just can't get out of that um, box or whatever, or whatever you're trapped in. Um, when you feel like you're paralyzed, it means like you can't move. It means you're losing control of your life. You lack control of it. You're not able to, it's something that's going on in your real life that you can't really um, control. So it's reflecting up against you in your own dreams. Um, when you feel that you're falling, it means that your life isn't going so well. Somewhere along, uh, along the way, something may have um, happened and it's just not going as you want planned. When you dream that you lose teeth, it means that you're feeling insecure. You may just feel like you like you're not that appealing to somebody, or you're just feeling um, very unattractive late, um, lately. So you dream that you lose your own teeth. And being chased, like I said, it usually occurs in children, but if it happens to adults, um, it means that they are avoiding a frightening or painful um, um, event, a person, or issue means they don't want to face their problems. They just want to avoid ev um, everything and forget that it's even um, um, happening. Um, so now that I talked about um, the dreams, the five common types, and then um, the types of dreams that there are, I can you know, wrap it up. Um, so it's important to understand and the dreams that we're um, having because they help us deal with our life. Um, so first I talked about the dreams, then I talked about the common types, and then I talked um, the types of dreams, and then I talked about the uncommon types. So just know that when you're dreaming, your your unconscious mind is um, telling you that there's something wrong going on with your life. 